Creating the ACH file is actually the last step of our ACH processing, where it is time to do the transfer of the funds and create the file that we're going to send to the bank. That step is done from processes, ACH files, and create ACH file. If you have not done an ACH with the vendor previously and you wish to just send a file to the bank and check out several vendors or one vendor um, to make sure that the bank information that they gave you is correct, then you'll first want to go to create pre-note. What a pre-note does is it creates a file that will be the same as the actual ACH file, but the dollars will be zero. So there won't be any transferring of funds being done but the bank will be able to check out both your information and the vendor's information to make sure that everything is, is valid. So we're going to select our company at the top and our bank account. And then you can select all the vendors that you want to check out. It could be one or it could be all of them um, or a couple of them, whatever you want to do. Once you have them selected over on the right list, then you're going to click the Create button. This is a screen that you're going to see when you do an ACH a, a file transfer. You want to put in the transmission date, which we can put in today, and the effective date. And then it will default to that folder that we defined when we did the setup of our bank account and put in our file name based on today's date and our first batch number. And then our immediate origin, that, um, we're, uh, that's also the selection that we did that our bank is wanting on our ACH file setup. And you're ready to click the Create File. That's going to create a file out in our folder of, um, where we defined was ACH payments. And now you can just email that file to your bank and they'll be able to check that out. If you're actually ready to make your payment and if you did a pre-note and your vendors were set at the checking pre-note in the setup of the vendor doing this pre-note um, uh, process will change the setup on the vendors that you selected to um, the checking um, option of, of actually the one that is done for the live ACH file. So now we're going to go back up to Processes ACH Files and Create ACH File. And here are our two vendors that are holding that we did previously. And we're going to choose to create that file. So we could um, uh, elect to only do one of them if we wanted to or whatever we wanted on this list. But we're going to select all of them. And we're going to click Create. And again, put in our date. And if our effective date is um, a different day, we can do that. And it created our file again. And you can see that this time it incremented to one here because we're doing it on the same day. And our origin is the same. And we can click Create File. Now it made that file. And that file is out in our ACH uh, payment folder waiting to be sent to the bank. And uh, that would actually do the file transfer when it went through. If you wanted to view the file, you can also do that. We can go back to Processes, ACH File, and ACH Direct Deposit File Viewer. We can select that file, which is going to be in our ACH payment, and we can select this one and click Open. And now we can see the different entries that it made if we need to check something out. Here's our two different vendors and their information and we could check anything in this file if perhaps the bank had a problem and we needed to look at the file. Um, you can also recreate a, an ACH file if something happened to the file and you need to just plain recreate it. You don't need to redo transactions. You just need to create the file again. So we're going to go Processes, ACH Files, and this time recreate ACH Direct Deposit Files. And here are our different ones that have been done. So we can select one um, right here and recreate the file. And oh, that one didn't have anything in it. That must have been our pre-note. Let's pick this one. And there it is. And now we can just click to create file again. That would create a new file. And now we could send that off to the bank. And that completes the process of using the ACH option in CenterPoint.